Hey, working on my putting skills as we wrap up the summer of 2022. A lot of people are asking me, man, is this anything like the summer of 2008 when we had the crazy crash? Well, hi, I'm Tom Daves with eXp Realty, and there's a lot of noise around the condition of our real estate market right now. And even if we're going to have a catastrophic crash like we did back in 2008, well, we definitely have seen a shift and we have seen some adjustments in Placer, Sacramento, and El Dorado counties over the past couple of months. But a crash, highly unlikely in my opinion. So let's take a look at some numbers and see what's really going on. This first chart shows us the inventory. And as you can see, we saw quite a spike in the inventory from 3,311 homes for sale in June to 3777 in July, which is a 12% increase. And of course, this has a lot to do with sellers trying to capitalize on the high home values and believing that the market will be crashing and it's also seasonal. In the dark green is the sold properties, which is slightly declined from 2031 homes sold in June to 1629 homes in July which likely relates to the kids going back to school, interest rates bouncing up, and buyers hoping that values continue to adjust. In the red is pending sales, which also saw a slight decrease. In this next chart, it shows the price per square foot, which we've also seen a small drop from 351 bucks a square foot in June to 343 bucks per square foot in July. This is really to be expected as more inventory comes on the market and values decelerate, we will likely continue to see this trend lowering moving into the fall. On this next graph, we have the list to sold ratio, which dipped under a 100% mark to 98%, meaning that the homes on average are selling for 98% of what they were listed for. And down below in the orange, we see the average days on market, which has increased by six days from June to July, taking homes on average 22 days to sell. And on this last chart, we see months worth of inventory. This chart shows us how long it would take to sell the existing inventory, which has climbed from 1.6 months in June to 2.3 months in July. And remember, anything under three months is a seller's market, four and five is a neutral market, and anything over five months worth of inventory is a buyer's market. So we're definitely still in a seller's market. So what does all this mean to you? Well, if you're a buyer, there's more options available, more inventory, more concessions are being offered by sellers and you can take just a little bit more time to shop than before when we were seeing 20 to 30 offers over list price on the first weekend. And what does this mean if you're a seller? Well, homes that are priced right are still selling at or above the list price. Yes, things are slightly adjusting, but nothing like we saw in the recession of 2008. Values are still high and the economists are still suggesting that we will continue to see appreciation, but it's just not gonna be at the unsustainable rate that we've seen over the past couple of years. And we are still seeing a surplus of cash Bay Area buyers looking to relocate to the Sacramento area. In fact, just recently sold a big ranch in Newcastle to a cash Bay Area buyer where the seller didn't even have to put the home on the market with the open houses and the showings and all that noise. And we were able to negotiate a free 60 day rent back for the seller to give her time to move out on her own time frame to Tennessee. From what the market is telling us, we're right in the middle of a market adjustment. We've been on an unsustainable rocket ship market over the past couple of years. So what we're seeing now is more of a normal market, which is sustainable. And buyers and sellers do have opportunities. So if you have any other questions, please feel free to give us a call at 
855-TOM-DAVES or just go to tomdaves.com. Thanks and have fun this summer. Woo!